It's a pretty well-known fact that an octopus can fit into any hole as long as it's bigger than its beak. If they were to ever overcome this limitation though, what hope do we ever have of stopping them? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-5582, the hard-to-contain octopus. Let's begin. Item number 5582, Level 2 Restricted, Containment Class Keter, Disruption Class Eki, Risk Class Notice. Special Containment Procedures SCP-5582 is to be contained on site. Every containment facility is to have at least one untested containment plan for SCP-5582 prepared at all times. Until permanent containment is deemed successful, the continued recapture of SCP-5582 under new conditions is intended to serve as a substitute for real containment. Description SCP-5582 is a three-year-old common octopus capable of surviving an indefinite amount of time without water. SCP-5582 is sapient and has advanced problem-solving skills. SCP-5582 could not be subjected to any test in this regard due to its constant containment breaches, but to date, SCP-5582 was able to solve any logical problem encountered. Discovery The Foundation became aware of SCP-5582 through multiple reports of a bank heist involving an octopus. Agents were dispatched to this scene and found SCP-5582 lurking in the immediate vicinity. 5582 was apprehended and brought to Site-17, but was able to crawl out of the containment vehicle before its arrival due to the lack of octopus-specific restraints. 5582 was again found a few weeks later observing Site-17. When agents were again dispatched to apprehend SCP-5582, they were unable to find it. It is estimated that SCP-5582 infiltrated Site-17 prior to being noticed. Interview Log Interviewed SCP-5582 Interviewer Junior Researcher Mello Forward This interview was conducted after SCP-5582 showed up at the front entrance of Site-23. 5582 used the stones of its provisional containment aquarium to write its answers. Begin Log for the first 5 minutes and 34 seconds of the interview, SCP-5582 had only been placing its stones at random. I don't see why you even requested an interview if you refuse to answer. Do you want enough to notice? notice? Don't worry, I was listening. SCP-5582 looks directly at Junior Researcher Mello. Yeah, you will do it. Me? What? No. You young people are always so self-centered. I mean all of you, obviously. And what exactly is it you want from us? You'll get it eventually. Then will you answer why you took part in the heist? Why does anyone rob a bank? For myself, obviously. Then why did you willingly let yourself be contained? Also for me? You're not making any sense. You'll understand, understand it when you're a little, little older. I really don't think so. What do you get from letting yourself be contained? No. No? It tips its head with one of its arms. No, no stagnation. SCP-5582 refused to communicate any further. End log. Closing statement. SCP-5582 breached containment shortly after the interview concluded. It was discovered that stones were disrupting the function of its cell door locking mechanism. Three days after this breach, junior researcher Mello received an anonymous message titled, Before You Do It, containing a picture of SCP-5582. Other Notable Incidents First, SCP-5582 was contained in Site-11 in a standard containment cell with a more complex locking mechanism. 5582 was able to escape through the ventilation system with the help of a previously half-swallowed screwdriver. Second, Site-66 constructed a special cell for SCP-5582 that made an escape through life-supporting systems like ventilation and drainage impossible. 
SCP-5582 escaped through bribing a now former junior researcher with its stolen money to aid in its containment breach. Third, SCP-5582 was captured by Site-063 from a local aquarium. Containment was planned to include several logic puzzles, but the octopus was found to be non-anomalous. On the same day, Site-063 staff received an anonymous message titled, Already Solved, containing the solutions to all logic puzzles. And fourth, during its stay at Site-19, SCP-5582 was informed of the existence of other sapient cephalopods in containment. SCP-5582 agreed to a meeting but fled during the siege of Site-19. The following message was received afterwards. What, you want me to socialize at this age? Weird thing to ask a three-year-old. Still tempting, but I wished you'd have asked me when I wasn't crawling on my last arm. The next day, SCP-5582 was spotted in front of the containment tank of SCP-2967, one of the aforementioned cephalopods by surveillance cameras. They both communicated through an unknown sign language for about an hour, after which SCP-5582 escaped before the footage was noticed. The following message was received afterwards. Nah, I'm good. All further encounters with SCP-5582 are documented in the SCP-5582 containment log, which I'll read out for you now. SCP-5582 Containment Log Per the Special Containment Procedures of SCP-5582, each containment facility needs to have one untested containment plan for 5582 prepared. The following is an abridged list of containment plans that have since been tested on SCP-5582, extending the list from the main file. Note, this log is currently being reviewed by the responsible HMCL supervisor. New entries may again now be added at the end of the log, using the standard template. Facility Site-17 Containment Strategy Use a specially constructed cell that makes escape through life-supporting systems impossible. All staff potentially interacting with SCP-5582 have been selected to make another bribing attempt impossible. Containment test result, 5582 escaped successfully. Further details are redacted due to SCP-5582 utilizing classified information. Notes, junior researcher Mello will be reassigned to another facility. SCP-5582 seems to focus on him, and Site-17 cannot afford a third breach through this anomaly. From Site Director Thomas Graham. Facility, Site-322. Containment Strategy, Integrate SCP-5582 into the Foundation by giving it its own office and mentally stimulating tasks. Given the behavior of SCP-5582, these tasks are planned to consist of designing more optimal containment procedures for various anomalies. If SCP-5582 shows other interests, those can be focused on instead. Containment results SCP-5582 showed interest in the Integration Program and agreed on the proposed Integration Plan. It fled at the earliest possible opportunity. Note, the containment procedures drafted before its escape have all been rated as improvements to the current procedures and have been implemented. Facility Site-118 Containment Strategy Use a specially constructed cell as per the plan of Site-17. To make bribes and blackmail impossible, all involved personnel will be amnesticized as per standard black box protocol. The labyrinthian design, the large number, and the size of Site 118's levels will additionally hinder escape attempts. Containment test results Shortly before SCP 5582 was contained, a large part of the site's teleporter and elevator system was sabotaged by an unknown assailant. This necessitated the team escorting SCP-5582 to its cell to travel the large labyrinthian levels by foot. On the way, SCP-5582 broke through the walls of its escort cell and escaped. After a three-day search, it was concluded that SCP-5582 had escaped the site. Notes, the Site-118 Administrative Department notes the age of the escort cell as the point of failure for the plan and has requested an increase in the budget to spend on equipment. This has been denied by the Budgetary Committee. Facility, Treatment Area 21. Containment Strategy, 
through the study of various ectoentropic fluids, compound EFL could be synthesized. Compound EFL is edible and can be endlessly consumed, although transportation and creation are very expensive. The fluid is effectively stationary. Movement is only possible by removing parts from its endless supply and destroying the fluid in its old position. Use a cell that has only a single entry point and is filled with compound EFL. Other life support systems and with them possible exit points are rendered mute by compound EFL. Containment test results, SCP-5582 stirred compound EFL into a configuration of SCP-5772, a specific implementation of an interacting system of vortices and liquids that result in high-energy explosions to breach its cell. Notes, this was the first time the octopus used an anomaly to get out. My best guess is that it's holding back as long as we limit ourselves to normal containment methods as well, but if we use anomalies, it's free game. From Researcher Mello. Facility Area 01. Containment Strategy The Central Memetics Department updated SCP 6194, a passive memetic agent dormant in approximately 12% of the civilian population that makes them loyal to the Foundation under certain triggers, to activate upon seeing SCP 5582. The update was initially tested in the presumed residence area of SCP 5582. Containment test results, SCP-5582 proved too slippery for civilians to apprehend and had already escaped when any Foundation reinforcements arrived. Notes, Researcher Mello has requested Area 01 to also create a containment strategy containing SCP-5582 at Area 01. This was denied as it was agreed upon that Area 01 would implement the current strategy in place of a containment method inside the facility. Facility, Lunar Area 32. Containment Strategy, no containment strategy was prepared as Area 32 was never expected to be the nearest containment facility for SCP-5582. Containment Test Results, how SCP-5582 appeared on the moon is still the subject of ongoing investigation. SCP-5582 was found observing chambers in the containment zone until attempts were made to apprehend it. Subsequently, it fled the facility through SCP-120. Notes, Researcher Mello has requested that all facilities, including protected ones, have one containment plan prepared. This request is currently pending review. Facility, Site-43. Containment Strategy, Further process compound EFL until a gaseous version is created to prevent SCP-5772 usage. Relocate SCP-5582 to another facility before the reoccurrence of SCP-5243, an annual cascade containment breach that also results in the partial decontainment of all contained subjects in Site-43. Containment test result, initial containment was successful. However, none of the surrounding facilities were willing to take over the containment of SCP-5582. As SCP-5582 could neither be anesthetized or tranquilized out of concern due to its advanced age, it escaped Site-43 during SCP-5243 as predicted. Notes, the Budgetary Committee has ordered that no further compound EFL be created for the containment of SCP-5582 due to its expensive creation method. Facility, Site-80. Containment Strategy, Contain SCP-5582 via the same method as Site-43 after the processed compound EFL has been transported to Site-80. Containment test result, strategy could not be implemented as the convoy transporting compound EFL was attacked by insurgents. The compound and the convoy were lost in the attack. Notes, the Budgetary Committee has ordered the complete cessation of implementing further containment plans for SCP-5582 due to the continued costs of creating special cells at every facility for the ultimately low-risk anomaly that uses the Foundation's containment attempts for its own amusement. Researcher Mello's protest against this decision has been noted. Facility, United States Penitentiary, Paranormal Administrative Maximum Facility. Containment strategy, not available. Containment test result, after the cessation of containment attempts, SCP-5582 returns to a life of robbery until it was eventually sentenced to serve its term in Paramax. 
Out of concerns about the consequences of a successful Paramax breach, it was negotiated with the UIU that SCP-5582 would serve its term in a Foundation facility instead. SCP-5582 breached its confinement as soon as it was officially in Foundation custody. Notes, Researcher Mello has requested that the containment efforts for SCP-5582 be continued. This request is currently being reviewed. Facility, Protected Site-01. Containment strategy not available. Containment test result, Incident redacted. Declassification is currently pending review by the Ethics Committee. Notes, Containment efforts for SCP-5582 are to continue by order of the O5 Council. Containment strategies are to be reviewed by HMCL Supervisor Mello before implementation. Facility, Site-532. Containment strategy, politely request that SCP-5582 enter a containment chamber and stay at Site-532 for a week, in order for more formal containment procedures to be drafted. Containment test result, SCP-5582 ignored the request and left the site shortly after receiving the offer. Notes, well, can't knock us for trying. From researcher Ryan O'Carroll. Facility, Site-866. Containment strategy, Multiple square holds are found around the chamber as entry points into a larger device known as the Dimensional Offset Modular Entanglement, or DOME. The DOME uses a numerous amount of shifting components around the containment room to make a form of labyrinth. These modules are hooked up to a multiversal connector that senses whether or not the current position is the same in another dimension, out of a group of about 1,200 parallels. If this is true, the module shifts to no longer reflect the parallel dimension. Due to this, an entry point to research 5582 isn't included, but this method is more so built for the purposes of testing 5582's abilities, rather than to research 5582. Containment test result, the multiversal connector hooked up to the dome malfunctioned in the way that it sensed that the other dimensions had configurations that had all been perfectly aligned to the point where every module shifted to the point where SCP-5582 could easily crawl out of the chamber. SCP-5582 had left a note in the surrounding sand which read as follows. That acronym was super forced. Notes, it was super forced, but I did my best, come on! From Chief of Naming, Domesun. Facility, Site Zero. Containment Strategy, Place SCP-5582 under the custody of Unreality Liaison Alex Thorley, containing it in the aquarium inside their office. Containment test result, SCP-5582 was brought to Alex Thorley's office by Unreality personnel. While it initially attempted to escape the aquarium as expected, it gradually stopped doing so when it began participating in casual conversation with Alex Thorley. The recorded contents of this interaction have since been lost. After five hours, SCP-5582 was seen calmly leaving the office door after having it opened by Alex Thorley. Both it and the liaison waved at each other in farewell. Attempts by researcher Mello to reprimand Alex Thorley for deliberately releasing an anomaly were overruled by the Department of Unreality. Update: There are no records of such a department, nor Site-0 existing. Investigations are ongoing. Notes. He just appeared in my fish tank one day. He's actually pretty cool. Didn't have anyone else to talk to for a long time, so this was really relieving. I let him leave since he asked nicely. Hope we see each other again. From Unreality Liaison Alex Thorley. Facility Inside. Containment Strategy Using SCP-2719 to contain SCP-5582 inside. Containment Test Result Pointer Experimental Chamber 64. Outcome became inside. Pointer SCP-5582. Outcome went inside. Pointer SCP-5582's exterior. Outcome became inside. Pointer SCP-5582. Outcome went inside. Pointer outside. Outcome became inside. Pointer SCP-5582. Outcome went inside. Notes. Due to SCP-5582 lacking bones, it was able to fold itself inside out, effectively making its inside become outside. Facility, Protected Site-01. 
Containment strategy not available. Containment test result. Incident redacted. Declassification not currently pending review by the Ethics Committee. Notes. Worse than last time. From 051. Facility. Classified under 5 Basilisk clearance. 4 Basilisk clearance required. Credentials approved. Containment strategy. Expose SCP-5582 to SCP-2140 during temporary containment. As SCP-5582 will then always have been loyal to the Foundation, it may be ordered to stay in its cell. Containment test result. SCP-5582 initially agreed to containment. After one day, the cell of SCP-5582 was found empty and the footage of its escape missing. Additionally, the site director received a document outlining security issues of the site in the correct format. Notes, it is unknown if SCP-5582 is only able to express its loyalty to the Foundation through its current behavior of testing the Foundation security systems, or if the eyesight of SCP-5582 was too bad to see SCP-2140 completely. Edit. Containment test result is currently undergoing re-evaluation after recent findings about SCP-2140. Facility, Site 999. Containment strategy, SCP-5582 is to be contained in a reinforced water-filled containment tank measuring no less than 6 meters by 6 meters by 6 meters, constructed from non-corrosive materials resistant to potential alterations caused by SCP-5582. The environment within the tank should maintain a stable temperature range of 20 to 22 degrees Celsius or 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit and consistent humidity levels, simulating natural octopus habitat conditions. With continuous CCTV monitoring and personnel trained in octopus handling and behavioral observation. Containment test result. After a 24-hour period of apparent inactivity within the containment chamber, SCP-5582 displayed no signs of life. It was transferred to the site's medical ward for examination, subsequently placed in cold storage. During this time, SCP-5582 absconded from the site's premises. Notes. Further investigation is required to ascertain the cause of SCP-5582's apparent lack of vital signs and its subsequent escape. Containment protocols need reassessment to prevent future breaches, considering SCP-5582's ability to exploit unexpected circumstances. From Dr. Avonlea. And lastly, the most recent containment attempt as of recording, Facility Site-333. Containment Strategy, Director Vincent Bohart will place a self-purchased mousetrap within the vicinity of SCP-5582, then wait until containment is achieved. Containment test result, SCP-5582 ignores the containment device, steals an alcoholic beverage from the Site-333 employee break room, and leaves. Notes. There, I made a containment plan. Now can you leave me alone? From Director Vincent Bohart. Thanks for listening. If you liked that video, maybe you'll like this one too. Have a nice day.